Welcome to the Clarify Python Search API Quick Start. Today we're going to build a, an app that functions as a real search engine on your images. You're going to be able to search images by search term like you'd search in a normal search engine. And by using the Clarify API, you're actually also going to be able to search for images based on other images. Let's open up our terminal. We're going to pip install clarify. We're going to pip install flask. This will be the web framework that we're going to use to build our app. And then we're just going to create a Python file called image search.py. Let's open up our Python file in our favorite text editor and begin with some imports. I'm importing OS as I've got some key uh, variables stored in environment variables. Uh, but we're all going to want to import uh, from clarify.rest, we're going to want to import the Clarify app. And then from Flask, we're going to want to import Flask request and render templates. This gives us the key components we're going to need to now build our web application. Next up, we're going to find a variable called myAI. We're going to sign it to our Clarify app, passing in as an argument our API key. Now, if you just pass it in directly, it would look like this. I've got mine in an environment variable, and so it's going to like this. Now if you don't have an ABI key already, just navigate to the Clarify website, set up an account for free, and go here to your May I My API key and click copy to clipboard. You're ready to go. And next we'll use the Flask constructor and use the current module as the argument, creating our web app. Next we're gonna set up our app root, which is a decorator used to match URLs to view functions in Flask apps. And this first one, we really don't want to do anything um, other than just kind of load our home page, our index.html. We are setting a length variable here to zero in this case, and you'll see how that ties in here in a moment. And then here's our next app route, and this will be for when we are using the post method in our form. So when we actually enter information into our search fields and hit search. This is the route that we will be called. And now we're going to want to set up a conditional statement that is going to tell our web application what to do based on which form field the user uses. So to begin with, we're talking about search by concept. So this is when they're going to actually put a word into our search field. Um, like a conventional search engine. And now we're going to want to declare a variable called search results that we're going to assign to our my my AI clarify app dot inputs dot search by predicted concepts. And here we're going to be passing in the search term as the argument. And from here we're going to want to return our render template um, with some new information. Again, we're going to use this index.html uh, page. We're going to want to set length to the length of our search results, and then we'll set search results to our search results. And then we're going to set up our second conditional. This elif statement is going to be very similar to our if statement with the main difference here being that we're now setting up a response for our form field where a user is inputting a search by image request. And so we'll, we're going to pass in our reference image that's taken from the form into our Clarify app via search by image. And then again, return the render template and the length will be the search results, and the search results will be the search results here. Again. And finally, since we're executing the script ourselves, um, name will equal main, and this condition will be satisfied, which will cause our app to run. And next up, let's create our HTML file. Okay, so our HTML file, we're just going to put a little h1 
tag here and we're going to set up a form and the form will have two parts um, that we've already seen now in our Python file. Um, form method will be post and first we're going to uh, create a form field and a header tag here for our search by concept option and just setting up the form field named search by concept the submit button also labeled search by concept and the value on the button will be search and then for our second form field here we're going to offer our search by image option and basically this is identical to the search by concept except for you know with a different label here our search by image and that is really all there is to that and finally we're going to add a little dynamic content here via our flask app jinja2 functionality ranging from eye to length uh, we will for each search result return the url from the search result as a list item and with that our app is ready to go so let's run our python image search.py let's go to localhost 5000 and open up our app. You can see here we can type in a search term like animal, hit search, and the animals in our photo database are returned. We can search for specific animals like a bird, and the clarify model will even understand terms like big. And here we can copy this elephant image and then search directly by the image looking in our database for other similar images. We can even go to other websites and just grab an image off another website, just drag it and drop it into our search field, hit search, and this cat has pulled up our cats. It really is that simple to build an artificial intelligence search engine using Clarify's Python API.